What's up guys, this is Theo here. Welcome back to Codecademy Introduction to JavaScript Part 2. Uh, so let's get started. We're going to get started with Code Your Own Adventure. Let's create your very own Code Your Own Adventure game. So uh, let's try it out. I'm going to reset everything so I can do it along with you guys. This has 7, so let's check it out. You know my style. I'm going to go with the instructions and let's check it out. So it says using the confirm command, make sure your user is ready to play. For example, I would use the sentence, I am ready to play. So say confirm, are you ready to play? So that's my string in there. End it with a semicolon. Click OK, true. Let's go on to our next lesson. Um, so what it wants us to do, let me reset that. Under the existing code, declare a variable called age. We'll set age equal to Prompt, we want to ask the user, what's your age? Okay, and so this is going to take this response. This is like a console read line if you're used to C sharp. And it's going to store it in this variable age. And then we're going to write an if else statement. We're going to say if age is less than 13, if the answer that they give us back is less than 13, then we're going to console.log. Um, you are allowed to play, but uh, we take no responsibility, and that was period, and then we'll say else, if it's not less than 13, what do we want to say? We want to console.log uh, play on, and uh, close that off, submit our code, are you ready to play? Um, okay, what's your age? Okay, my age is 13, so it says play on, so cool. Uh, Let's reset this code. It says print the introduction using console.log. Um, print out the following introduction exactly that it's written. So what we'll do after all this, we'll console.log. So this is what we'll do. We'll start in a variable called intro. And after that, we'll just console.log out our intro. Let's submit that. Um, what's the problem with my syntax? Invalid or unexpected token. Oh, my bad. And then, so you're ready to play. I'm 23. So we get, make sure your string is correct and it is between quotation marks. Ah, I know what I did wrong. Uh, where is the host lyric? Make sure that's good. You ready to play? 23. Cool. All right, let's move on. Next thing we're going to do is under the existing code, print out the storyline. So we're going to say var story line again, and we're just going to store in this, this string. All right. And uh, what we're going to do next is um, declare a variable called user answer, make it equal to prompt that, uh, that asks the user, do you want to raise paper on stage? So we'll say var user answer and we'll store a prompt and then we'll say do you want to race uh, Bieber on stage and uh, so let's check this out now are you ready to play 23 do you want to race Bieber on stage uh, yes did you remember to console.log suddenly Bieber stops and says who wants to race me oh sorry about that so console.log the storyline and let's try this again. So I'm 23. Do you want to race Bieber on stage? Yes. Cool. Um, let's go on to our next lesson. And let me reset this code. And now what we want to, want to do is use an if else statement to write out the last part of the game. So if it's equal to yes, print out this. Otherwise, so we're just using all the concepts we've learned so far. So we're going to look at this user answer. We're going to say if user answer is equal to yes. Um, then we want to print out, we're going to console.log, we're going to wrap our string in here, so we're going to take you and Bieber start racing, else um, we're going to log out and grab this, oh no, and let's make sure this works for us, so you ready to play, what's your age, 23, do you want to race Bieber on stage, yes, Cool, so you and Beaver start racing. Otherwise, it would have said this no condition. 
Re reset that. Uh, create a variable called feedback and prompt the user to rate your game out of 10. So we'll say var feedback, set that equal to a prompt, uh, rate game out of 10. And uh, then we'll say if feedback is greater than eight, what do we want to do? So in a console.log, this string right here, using more conditionals, else, um, else what we're going to do is we are going to um, print out this string. I keep practicing coding and racing. And let's submit that. Are you ready to play 23? Do you want to race? Yes. Great game out of 10. I'll give it an 8. Cool. So I'll keep practicing coding and racing. Reset that code. And it says, congratulations. You've just programmed your first game. This is incredibly impressive. So next steps. We're going to submit our code. Are you ready to play? 23. Yes. 10. Cool. Finish that course. Uh, next up is introduction to functions in JS. This course course introduces functions, why we use them, and how to use them. This course also combines functions with other programming concepts previously learned. Um, so we're done with that second section, guys. That was pretty quick. Next up, we'll be on to functions. And we can see we got a lot more to go. Uh, but pretty quick tutorial. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Sort of working with the ifs and the conditionals, and you know, learning how to prompt and. Uh, great confirm dialogues that are native within the browser. So um, yeah, guys, if you like this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you thought. And as always, guys, please subscribe and support the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.